For today's software engineering interview, please explain hashing. Hashing is the process of taking some data, running it through a hash function, which turns it into some data which represents the original data, but is completely different. Hash functions have a few key properties. The output is always the same length. No matter how long this is, this output would be a certain number of bits. Secondly, hash functions are not reversible. Let's say I have a password, I run it through a hash function, and it turns into this. I cannot take this output, run it through the hash function, and get my original password back, which is great for things like security. Does the same piece of data always get hashed to the same value? Yeah, while this value might look completely random, it is not. The same input with the same hash function will always produce the same output. This is super useful for things like storing hashed passwords. Okay, can you walk me through how you might use hashing to store passwords? Sure, let's say you're building a simple web application and you need to store user passwords. Well, instead of storing their passwords as plain text where any developer or you could look at them, you can store a hash instead. Here's how it works. When a user creates an account, you get their password, but instead of storing that in your database, we first run a hash function through it and add a random string called assault. Then we store this hashed value in our database instead of the string. When they go to log in, we can run the same hash function with the same salt, which will give us the same hashed value. So when we compare this to our database, we know it's the correct password and they can log in. If our database ever was leaked, well, all the hackers would get is a bunch of random data and no passwords for our users. Much more secure.